You know, last night we told you about two teen boys now facing charges after firing shots outside of Wolf Chase Galleria. It happened this past weekend. And we usually talk about fighting crime. But what about those random acts of violence that we can't do anything about? Local 24 political analyst Otis Sanford shares his point of view on that tonight. When we talk about fighting crime in Memphis, we usually put the responsibility on police and politicians. If only we had more officers, the saying goes, crime would go down. But even if we had hundreds more police, it would have little impact on random violence that breaks out in public places. When that happens, it literally strikes chilling fear in the minds of innocent bystanders. That was the case last Sunday after shots were fired just outside Wolf Chase Galleria Mall. The gunfire sent shoppers running frantically for cover. Many of them hid inside stores until it was safe to leave. The good news is no one was hurt, and police have now arrested two juveniles, including a 16-year-old who apparently fired the shots. Police said the violence resulted from an argument involving as many as five young men. That is the kind of crime that police can do little about, except investigate and make arrests, which happened quickly. It's also the kind of crime that hurts businesses and the economy. The sad fact is some people, juveniles and adults, sometimes resort to violence in public places without giving any thought to innocent bystanders. Our only hope then is for those who are close to would-be perpetrators to intervene and help steer them away from violence and especially away from guns. Police and politicians cannot do it, but the community as a whole probably can. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.